Hey guys! So, we'll do a little explanation at the beginning before we start the movie review to explain how we even stumbled upon this movie. <laughs> and so, if you don't know what a Mandela effect is, am I saying that right? No, no I'm not. It's Mandela, right? Like Nelson Mandela. Yeah, it's Mandela, duh, because that's why. Okay, anyways. Just ignore that. Um, <laughs> so, I have a love for conspiracy theory videos, especially Shane Dawson's, because they're like funny and like interesting and have to do with like, you know, pop culture and stuff most of the time. But, uh, so like, you know, there hasn't been hardly any new ones lately, so I've had to scour the internet for things. And then, of course, the, we've not known about the Mandela Effect for a while, but recently I've been on this kick of watching Mandela Effect videos, specifically all time. He has like a bunch of interesting ones. Um, we'll have a link for his page maybe below. Uh, but uh, so recently I was trying to find another channel that had Mandela effects and I couldn't find any. But the first thing that popped up was like a trailer for a movie called The Mandela Effect and I'm like, how did we like totally miss this? Apparently it was already out and it's on video on demand which is how we watched it. So anyways, so then I looked to see if anybody had even done a review or talked about this movie. I couldn't really find anybody talking about this movie, so I'm like, well, we have to see this because it's either going to be hilarious or interesting or just whatever. Either way, it'll be an interesting time. So we watched that recently. I guess, should I explain more about the Manzala effect? <laughs> Maybe you'd be better at it, Frankie. Okay, okay. So... <laughs> Mandela effect is like basically because you humans have human brains. I have a uh, advanced brain, so this oh, doesn't very ever advanced, yeah. this doesn't ever happen to me. I don't understand how this works for normal people because uh, I, I have an advanced brain. But um, you've only existed for like what three years? Yes, and I remember every detail. <laughs> but anyways, um, the Mandela effect is essentially because you have a stupid human brain. You don't remember shit very well at all, at all. You can't, you can hardly, do you even, re, do you even know what your children's names are? I don't hardly. have any children. Not so you, no. the audience. <laughs> like, do you, do you have any idea what's going on around you at all times? No, you don't, because you have a human brain and you get easily distracted and you can't remember <laughs> anything. So the Mandela Effect, essentially, the easiest example and the most well-known is uh, the Berenstain Bears books. A lot of people, um, probably because our parents were mostly illiterate and didn't know how to talk, um, we always called it Berenstein instead of Berenstain, um, even though it's spelled Berenstain. I think it's just because... You weren't even alive back then. I'm guessing you're talking about Travis's stories he's told you. Well, I mean, sure. But yeah, so it's like, if you don't, if you misremember something, or like the quote from uh, Star Wars is another good one, it's not, it's not, Luke, I am your father, it's, no, I am your father. But, um... So that's essentially the idea, and some jackass decided to make this into an entire feature-length film, and, um, with weird results. Yeah. So, like, it was kind of funny at first, and it's even listed as a horror, or no, uh, action comedy? <laughs> action comedy on, on Wikipedia. And it's not either Maybe even listed as a thriller, I'm not sure. But, yeah. So, at first it was kind of funny. I mean... Not the very beginning, but like, yeah, pretty much like right away, like they start start showing all the like typical Mandela effects. So it's kind of funny at the beginning. Yeah, they just, they immediately cram every Mandela effect you can think of into your face. Like, uh, Berenstein Bears is brought up right away. The Monopoly man having a monocle. He doesn't have a monocle, dumb fucks. I think what we're, we discussed this the other night, and what we think is, on some of those cards in the game, I'm pretty sure he has like a magnifying yeah. glass he's like looking through, so uh... And then Mr. Peanut has a monocle, so... So I think it's just, you know, I mean, it's, it's super understandable why these things happen, it just... Some of them, though. Most of them I can explain away. There's a few, though, that have like really freaked me out. Yeah, they cram all these right in your face right away, they like pretty much go through every single one very quickly to the point where it's very, very comical. I mean, when you show a children's book like the Berenstein Bears, I mean, Stain Bears, whatever, and uh, you hear creepy music like this, 
I just I just burst out laughing. I mean, the Berenstain Bears is not as scary. I mean, even if it's even if you don't remember it incorrectly, I mean, oh well. <laughs> it's not that spooky, but this this movie, I have a hard time recommending this one. Yeah, okay. So we talked and it's like kind of like what the bleep do you know? Or, um, what's the other one? Uh, Waking Life. Waking Life. That kind of like more of a like film about an idea or philosophy kind of movie rather than like a movie movie, even though it was trying to be a movie movie. Because <laughs> like most of it was like just talking about and showing lots of clips of like smart people talking about the Mandela effect and stuff. Yeah, like half the movie was just clips of like yeah. real people talking about it. And then the other half was this absolutely nonsensical story. Um, I kind of, I mean, I didn't hate this movie. Um, it's got uh, Robin Lord Taylor, I think is his name. Uh, the oh yeah, from, from Gotham. Gotham yeah. Uh, and I like him a lot. Um, but uh, as the movie goes, like it's not a great movie. It just, but if you're really interested in Mandela effects, yeah. Or, or you've never heard of them, you're like, what the hell is that? Well, maybe go watch that movie and that will tell you pretty much everything. Yeah, if you don't know much about Man uh, Mandela effects at all, this movie's probably going to blow your fucking mind. Because they're going to be like, holy shit, I can't believe all this shit's... It's Berenstain, holy shit! I've been living under a rock and I don't know things. Then this I've movie's for I've never used you. the internet before. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it's really not that bad of a movie. It's just the concept is so ridiculous. It can't help but to be like cheesily hilarious. Yeah. You can't take something like this and try to make it so serious. I mean, this one kind of is more on the idea that we're in a simulation. Some people's theories are that the Matrix. <laughs> it, like we're different dimensions and stuff. Oh yeah, also, yeah. So if you're from our dimension, you can check out the Mandela Effect movie if you really, really want to. I'd probably give it like a C as far as the movie goes, even maybe a C minus. But uh, as far as an interesting kind of experience, yeah. it's pretty decent for that. Uh, worth a watch, at least one watch. Yeah. And if you're into Mandela effects, then definitely, definitely check yeah, it out because I mean, it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> anything else? No. I can't think of anything else. But yeah, watch it. I mean, I mean maybe in your dimension. You're watching this, and like this movie doesn't even exist. So, do we exist in your dimension? Are well, we... if they're watching this, maybe we do. Maybe we're for more, now. Maybe we're more successful in their dimension. So please, oh yes, <laughs> please open up a dimensional rift and come get us and save us from this hellhole Earth that we are stuck in currently. Please. And thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.